Though they've been in households and offices since 1987, Visonic hasn't exactly been a household name. So how do you put a little known brand on the map and convince people they're more than just monitors? In the middle of all this. You don't. Instead, you tap into the one thing people are most desperate for. The thing they're binging. Entertainment. So we created the hottest sitcom on the planet without actually creating it. We created all the fanfare around a massive global launch. Promos for the show running on premium Roku slots. Critics everywhere agree, The Finchers is gut-bustingly funny. Yeah, guys, this is the crackling dragon. <laughs> Reviews from the most trusted outlets. And an IMDb page. And who said global media takeovers take global media budgets? We just cut straight to the sharing by partnering with influencers to cameo in the show itself. We then digitally created the illusion of massive media buys, putting them in the spotlight and the Finchers on the radar. Yo, it's your boy Kevin on stage. I'm on my own billboard. You Sonic just sent me their new 27 inch. And their fans loved it. We even worked with the New York Times to run the most expensive buy in print media that never ran. The Finchers even found a home in the hottest section of the New York Times site. And on Esquire. We gave it a theme song, because what great sitcom doesn't have one of those? They're just one family, constantly asking why. The one family, and they're stuck inside together. We then sent the show's star on a press tour. I, it's getting crazy great reviews, 92% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. They let us have a lot of fun. The people at ViewSonic have been awesome. That also never really happened which in turn turned into a real press story. All of which drove people to our set. And yes, there was branded entertainment once you got there. Hi, we're having class here. Do you mind taking your bathrobe somewhere else, please? We're trying to have class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, you have fun. And yes, we put a commercial in a commercial. So products were directly integrated. What you saw over there with Tony was the ViewSonic touchscreen monitor thingy. Yeah, I forgot it. But none of this was really about getting people to stream a show. It was about using entertainment to make an introduction. We've been on desks since 1987. But for the first time, we're letting people know. We're a remote working, distance learning, immersive experiencing, elite gaming, future thinking, visual solutions enterprise. So while we didn't spend the $112 million it would have cost to actually make the next big hit, we did actually get the 130 million eyeballs it would have earned. And we think that's pretty entertaining.